As the whole world moves towards renewable energy, and in particular putting solar panels on the roofs of residential and commercial properties, window cleaners are the perfect match for keeping all these solar panels clean. We are the new solar panel cleaners. So it's a smart question to ask, are all solar panels the same glass as windows? And can we damage solar panels with our window cleaning tools? Well, solar panels are made from glass, but not always the same type of glass. So to demonstrate a particular point, I'm gonna firstly talk about sunglasses, because sunglasses are also made from glass and designed to reflect light and to filter light. Here goes, right? What's the difference between these two pairs of aviators? And seriously, what have aviators got to do with solar panels? Well, if we look at it again, the woman on the left is wearing reflective Ray-Bans and the woman on the right is wearing less reflective Ray-Bans. So sometimes we want reflection from glass and other times not. The more glass reflects light, the less light gets through the glass. Now, if you're an aviators fan and you spend a whole lot of time in direct sunlight, you may prefer the highly reflective style. If, on the other hand, you're more in diffused light, like on a cloudy day and chatting with friends, then the less reflective sunglasses might be, well, shall we say more personal? Imagine an astronaut, he or she is out there doing a spacewalk in unfiltered solar radiation. Yep, that's a good time for a highly reflective visor. Astronauts do not want a whole lot of solar energy getting through to their eyes or their skin. So let's apply this back to solar panels, but first, welcome to Reach It Workshop. For the first question, are solar panels the same glass as windows? Well, the answer is no. Not all solar panels are the same glass as windows. More expensive solar panels are treated with ARC. That stands for anti-reflective coating. Now, ARC is a nano treatment on the surface of the glass panel that reduces reflection. Now, that means less solar energy is reflected off the glass, meaning more solar energy goes through the glass to the photovoltaic wafers inside the panel. And that means an increase in solar power for the owner of the solar panels. Well, why would there be an ARC coating? Well, it's because more solar energy can get to the solar panel wafers and be converted into more electricity. Anti-reflective coating increases the solar gain of clean solar panels by 4%, which is quite a significant gain to the owner. By the way, you can tell if a solar panel is treated with anti-reflective coating by how reflective it is. If it has a matte blue look, it has an ARC coating. Now on the other hand, dirt on a solar panel can reduce the solar gain, that's what we call the conversion of sun energy into electrical energy, by 20 to 80%, so it is really important to keep solar panels clean. For the second question, can we damage solar panel glass with window cleaning tools? And the answer is yes, if the panels are treated with an ARC anti-reflective coating. Otherwise, it's actually normal glass, so you have your window cleaning experience, and that'll mean that you're unlikely to damage the glass surface. As the anti-reflective coating is a nano coating, that means it's just a surface treatment on the glass, so it could easily be damaged with abrasive cleaning tools. To reduce the risk of this, some of the huge solar farms are even using water pressure systems and electrostatic cleaning machines to clean their panels for less risk to the ARC. Of course, this is for the huge solar farms. And when we're talking like manual solar panel cleaning, we can't afford to use these types of systems. So we're gonna use water-fed brushes. And the key to cleaning solar panels treated with ARC, anti-reflective coating, safely with a water-fed brush is to have a very soft bristle. This is to minimize the abrasive effect of the bristles. And this is where silicon bristles become ideal.
Now, if there's a debris that requires an aggressive agitation, the customer will still expect it to be cleaned, of course. So we recommend that you should go back over the panels and spot clean those extra dirty marks rather than using an abrasive agitation over the whole panel because of the dirty marks. Okay, to summarize today's topic, firstly, discern if the panels have an ARC treatment. If so, use the softest bristles you can, preferably silicon, and spot clean any stubborn debris or marks. Now, if the panels are not ARC treated, you can use your window cleaning experience for the best way to clean the solar panels fast. Hey, if you've enjoyed this topic or you have any questions, please comment below and I'll try and answer them in the Q&A Fridays. Subscribe at youtube.com forward slash future of cleaning for notifications of the new workshops that we release. And please share about us in your community groups so that we can get more people understanding more knowledge. That's it for today. We'll see you in the next Reach It workshop.